guys my name is Hal and welcome back to my channel once again and if you're new to my channel then welcome to my channel over here you will find stuff related to beauty um, DIYs some DIYs cooking and a few shopping hauls yes I do shopping hauls when I shop so if you are into any of these things then please do hit the subscribe button that will be appearing on your screen just click that and subscribe to my channel uh, so that you can be a part of the family okay so starting with this video this video is actually about this yay beautiful palette this is called a bubble nebula nebula I, I hope i'm spelling it right um pronouncing it right i mean so this is bubble nebula Bula Change Ball. This is by You Can Be, and I have gotten from King Beauty Shop. I think I got it like in late December somewhere or in the start of January. I don't exactly remember, but I got it in late December or the starting of January. And I did want to try this like before, uh, but unfortunately I couldn't because um, firstly I was busy, I got some stuff to do so i got busy in that i was not in the proper state of mind i was just like kind of a bit disturbed so you know i was not finding any motivation or any inspiration to film although i have loads of stuff that i have to try on there's a load of i've got masks and i have to show you everything so i i don't know <laughs> the why i stopped it but well i told you that you know i was not in the proper state of mind you can say i was quite disturbed so that's why i couldn't bring myself to do it but then i thought hey hey let's go to youtube that's like you know it makes things better when i film i may i feel happy when i do makeup i feel happy so i thought let's do it <laughs> yeah so that's why i'm back here again so it opens up I instantly like the packing wow the packaging and the box are the same like the galaxy shades and I have uh, heard or as much as I know that this is a dupe for the Huda Mercury palette so I'm all for dupes you know that I don't own Huda Beauty palettes no sir i don't have any but i do tend to find the dupes everywhere so i just thought that i will give it a try and yes so so let's open it up okay so there's a protective film i'll just put it away and look at this whoa what lovely beautiful colors how nice this is so nice like um compared to the aromas palette aromas palette had names on all the colors but these colors have no names but they are all so pretty oh my god i am crazy for this you know ferrosi like aqua kind of color this one oh my god i love it and look at the mirror it's like a good mirror um if I compare it to no but wait oh it has a protective film on oh oh I didn't know that I love taking things off so yeah whoa the color the mirror is like can you see the palette itself whoa whoa the mirror is really good and like really nice really nice you can do your makeup in this mirror it's a very good mirror um this was what eleven dollars or ten dollars ten dollars or eleven dollars i don't exactly remember but i will l post the link below so you can go and check like but still it was like cheaper than the actual huda palette I do know that so that's why I got it <laughs> because you get the same colors and you get them cheaper uh, so I will just do a little bit of swatching I am not going to do too much swatches because uh, you know it's better to apply them on the eye rather than on the hand so go. do you see this wow this one Ooh, hoo, hoo. wow can you see this pretty nice it's not coming on camera as much no see 
<laughs> this is good these are nice colors i'm just going to start with uh, my face face i'm just gonna go ahead and prep it a bit and then i will come back For, uh, by the way first i have applied i have used this revolution hydration boost hydrating gel i'm going to prime my face using the mua pro base um primer oil with gold flakes yeah i'm not gonna put it on my face i'm just gonna put a tab on my hand rub it Zinger revolution cushion corrector which is in orange because your girl has dark circles or you can see hyperpigmentation all over the face so yeah I do need them <laughs> now I'll go in with my Maybelline fit me concealer which is in shade 40 and I will just dab it on This much is almost done. <laughs> I know my face is looking a bit orange right now, but I promise it's going to be okay. So now for the foundation, I'm going to apply Oreo Infallible. Uh, I love it. This is in Golden Sun, which is 260. So. I'm gonna take it on my hand like two ish pumps and I'm going to try go ahead not try go ahead with this brush this is the absolute my absolute favorite foundation I'm still a bit orange <laughs> I don't know why I am going to prime my eyes using the revolution concealing hydrate in 10.2 which is a bit lighter shade so yeah I am thinking of doing um, my best buys of 2019 video or my worst buys of 2019 video do let me know in the comment box if you think that I should do that video because I was thinking of doing that video. You, yeah, do, do let me know if you would recommend doing that. Best, the best products of 2019 that I bought and some worst products. That, not worse, like the products that I don't like from 2019. So yeah. Anyways, let's prep the eye. Okay. That much is done. I'm not gonna prep this eye at the moment because I will prep it when time comes. Otherwise, you know, creases will form, or uh, the the concealer will not be as tacky as it should be. Firstly, I am going to take uh, this brown shade. It's look a bit brownish, but seems a bit pink. I am going to take this maroon shade this maroon shade which I am going to focus into my crease area for this I'm taking a flat kind of brush because I want to really concentrate it into my lid really packing it on at the minute Just a lid, I meant crease. A very nice shade. I love purple anyway, so this is kind of maroonish purple, so yeah, I love it. 
Now with a smaller brush, I am going to go in with this shade. Uh, not taking it too much, but just a little. And just gonna go lightly over this shade. Blending it along. So that there are like no harsh lines. Okay. I think this is good enough. This much I like. Now just to give it a bit of a darker thingy, I am going to use this dark shade at the end. Put it on the outer edge of it. <laughs> Looks a bit better. Looks a bit scary but don't worry, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. So now I'll just go ahead and make my cut crease with a very flat brush. Okay, so uh, while this one is uh, going to be a bit tacky, I'm going to go ahead and do this eye. Okay guys, so I am back. I've done this eye almost and um, um, this one has gone a bit tacky. It's not wet, but it's a bit tacky. So we'll go ahead and do what we thought of doing with this eye. I'm taking another flat brush and so I am going to go in with this shade now this shade I hope it goes in the flat brush it is so I'm going to apply it next to my you know purple shade not a good choice Applying it with finger works. I think it looks a bit good. I don't know. Okay, so now for the inner part, in with this shade now. Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> I think this could work. I absolutely love the colors though. It's so pigmented. This is my favorite color so far. Favorite. Okay, I'm going to go in with the blue again. Uh, and this one with my finger. This time the smaller one. Just gonna dab it on again. Okay, that's good. That's good. I'm going to take a pencil brush. With that, I am going to take this this darkest shade again this this shade again just a little bit not too much tap it go over the crease slightly
that's good enough yeah I think it has worked a bit so so now for the inner corner I had my eyes on this ever since I started <laughs> doing this makeup this was the color that I had my eyes on so this is the one that I'm going to apply on my inner corner I took my finger again and applied it with my finger because this is better I don't know why uh, colors are not going on brushes that nicely so yeah that's about it so I'm going to take the same color or not <laughs> let's see and put it under my brow bone yeah I did I did that yeah so that's under my brow bone as well yeah so now I will just go and do this eye and my complete face. Okay guys, so I am back after doing the rest of my eye lashes everything bronzer blah 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 <laughs> so i am back now and oh my god i am loving this look um i mean the whole palette i absolutely am a fan i do think that this is a very nice palette the shades are very pigmented i was a bit disappointed like not disappointed but i did not know that these these two oops <laughs> like uh, these two shimmers they did not like uh, go on the brushes well that's okay that does not bother me that much but they are all very nice and wow i love the packaging i love the shades and i don't know like if um, i have not tried the huda beauty palette if you guys have tried it do let me know if it has the shame shades shame shades <laughs> i mean if it has the same shades as this bubble nebula changeable palette as the mercury palette um if it does then then it's a bonus but even if it doesn't i mean i still love it it's a very nice palette it's very affordable it's like 11 dollars. it was i think 11 dollars. i will definitely post a link below do check it out if you want to buy it it's a good buy i am not disappointed i'm sure you're not going to be disappointed as well go ahead and check it out it's a very nice palette. I love this. I love this color though. I absolutely am crazy about this color. It's very nice. Anyway, so uh, yeah, this was the look for today, guys. If you liked it, then please do give me a big thumbs up. Please do comment below uh, if you like the look. And if you have any suggestions for any next videos or, um, you know, anything, please do give, let me know in the comment box below. And yes, as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. I am so thankful to all of you. Um, and yeah, I will see you real, real soon. Bye-bye. Love you.